Hi guys, I'm Rosh and welcome to Synata Design. Please subscribe, comment and like so that I can continue to develop my channel better in the future. If you'd like to make a donation, we are accepting super thanks and donations via PayPal with the link stated in the description. For those of you who use Twinmotion as your main rendering tool, maybe some of you want a material ID or render ID on Twinmotion to help you during post-production rendering. And in this video I will try to provide an alternative way to make material ID or render ID in Twinmotion. Of course, the final result will not be the same as the material ID in other rendering software. But at least, it can approach and help you when doing post-production rendering in Photoshop or other post-production software. Okay, here we go straight to the twin motion, and we will try to use the lake house retreat demo scene in twin motion. After entering the scene, we just go into the media and choose one of the existing image templates. Here I choose image number 7. After that, you can turn off the scene panel on the left and focus on the properties panel. Here you go straight to the effects. And here are the tools that we can use as a substitute for rendering ID. When we activate clay render, all colors change like clay except for the sky. Here we see, there are still shadows and textures in the clay render. So, we need to edit the settings on the clay render. There are two settings, namely translucency and reflection in the clay render setting. When we shift the translucency towards 0%, the texture and shadows will be more clearly visible. But, when we slide towards 100%, it will be similar to the color of material ID. So that, we set translucency at 100%. Next, we try the reflection settings, here we can see, when we slide towards 0%, there will be no reflection on the clay render. But if we increase it, the reflection will be more visible. Therefore, we set reflection at 0%. Furthermore, there is a bump that can be turned on and off. Here we just turn it off to reduce the texture on the clay render. Next, we can choose what affected elements we need to apply to this clay render. Here, we will try one by one and we can see what elements can be switched using this clay render. As you can see, when we click on the affected elements one by one, the area affected by the clay render will also change. And there are also various kinds of elements that we can choose such as glass, landscape, vegetation, water, characters, vehicles, items, and others. So, you can choose which part you will use the clay render for. Okay, now we will focus on the vegetation and glass, which we will use the clay render for. After we have selected the vegetation and glass, here we can choose the color we want to use for the clay render. Here, you can change the color according to what you want. Like the example here, I changed the color to yellow. However, I thought it might collide with the red color on the ground, so I tried changing the color to the green screen color. Okay, now the color has changed to the green screen color.
The next thing, you can immediately set the output size according to your wishes, or you can follow the settings like in the video. However, the most important thing is that you need to adjust the image output according to your rendering results. You can also turn on the path tracer or not, according to your rendering results. After all the settings are complete, don't forget to export the clay render. Voila, that is Material ID on Twin Motion. But, I still hope Twin Motion can add Material ID or Render ID on settings in the future. Okay guys, that was the video today, I hope this can help you, even though the end result is not as similar as the usual Material ID. If there are criticisms and suggestions or if something is missed, you can comment in the comments column below. See you in the next video. Ciao.